Welcome, this is Luke Smith of RealVacantLand.com and also LandWithLuke.com. And uh, this morning I'd like to talk about an email that I received. I've received lots of emails over time. This one in particular caught me at the right moment when I have a big passion for this. Uh, Jason was asking, what could I do with a fifty to $70,000 investment in land? I think that's a beautiful question. That's a great idea. That's um, There's so many different ways to go with this. But right now, in this economy, in this market, with what I know, um, I, I'll tell you what I would do. It's not what you should do, or I'm not giving you investment advice because I don't know your personal finances and I'm not licensed to do so anymore. And um, so this is generic what I would do if this were my money uh, kind of talk, right? So fifty to $70,000. Um, there's lots of ways to invest that in land and real estate. And But uh, if you've been watching my recent videos, I've been talking a lot about QSRs, quick service restaurants, fast food restaurants, especially vacant ones that uh, we could put a new tenant in, and especially ones that are priced as vacant and the price could be a lot higher if we had a new tenant that was paying rent that got the thing up and going and operating. And I think the spread between A and B it can be really nice. And I think the technology and the data that we have to pull that off is better than ever in today's markets. And I've been exploring that. I've been using it. I've been testing it. And I really believe in that technology and that data and that uh, that ability to go make those deals happen. I believe that's a competitive advantage that, that I have that others could have if they spent time and energy on it too. Um, so I have been working with partners on lots of deals over time and um, recently have been doing deals on those QSRs uh, to fund fund those, those kinds of properties. I don't have unlimited amounts of money. I always need money to help me in deals. That's part of real estate. It's a, it's a team sport, right? So Um, the problem, well, I'll I'll talk about the opportunity first and then the problem and then the solution. So the opportunity are these QSRs. And, um, I, like other deals in the past, I tried every number on the board, um, uh, trying to, you know, making offers on these things. You can make low offers and make high offers. You can see where the offers work depending on the statistics and data of the building and the area and, and what's going on. I'm getting a better idea of what kind of offers work and what kinds don't, what kind of timelines you can ask for. Some, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And, um, what kind of deposits you can use, what, what kinds you can't. An example of me doing that in the past, if you watch videos going back far enough is I went through and I started figuring out the process to buy properties, tax auction properties in Arkansas. And, um, Uh, I started making offers, you know, $5 a property because they're sealed bid, like whatever bid happens works, right? So why not try five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and like every dollar in between $100, $500, $1,000. They took all the $1,000 and the 500s and the 300s and the 200s and the the 75s and the, you know, $55 ones and the the $50 ones, but they didn't take the $49 ones and they didn't take the 48s and they didn't take the 30s and they didn't take the 20s. And so I figured out their magic number and started making offers at 50. Basically swept through the whole state and collected up all the tax, back tax properties. And some of those properties I was able to sell for over $20,000. $50 buys, $20,000 plus sales with like houses and trailers and schools and churches and all kinds of stuff on them. Just by figuring it out and doing it in a st- statistical approach and uh, understanding it and then taking it to scale. And so I asked for help on a video like this in the past and people um, sent money to help and buy those properties. We did a one by one, this property, this property, you, 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 you. Okay, we used up your money, you, you, you. We used up your money and then I'd go market those things. We'd split the profits and it, it worked for the most part for everybody involved. Some of those properties, um, the taxes and the fees were crazy and we just let them go back to the state. But I believe everybody that I did those deals with made money and I believe they all made more than double and some of them many, 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 many times more than double. Um, so why don't I do that anymore? The laws change, the rules change, the market change and new opportunities are presented. I believe the new opportunities uh, are these uh, quick service restaurants. From what I know and what I understand, I'm sure there's lots of other opportunities, but from my knowledge, this is it. I think we can tie these things up. We can get them under contract for, I've tried all kinds of numbers. I tried $50,000 numbers and 40, 
you know, 30, 20, 25, 30, 15, 10, 5, <laughs> maybe I, I have tried $2,500. I was going to say I should try $2,500. $2,500 works too. Um, so like $2,500, $5,000, $10,000 kinds of numbers, we can tie up these kinds of assets and we can get them under contract with the, with the um, idea and the anticipation and the prospect and the, you know, we want to buy these things. We're not just tying them up. We want to buy them. And, but before we buy them, we want to find a tenant. We want to find a tenant that loves the building, that's willing to move in, that's willing to pay rent, that makes it economic. And um, we go through a systematic approach of looking for that tenant. I've made a couple of videos in the last couple of days or weeks about that. I've been doing live videos, um, people asking questions, making calls, talking to sellers and brokers and stuff. I, I would like to do a lot more of that going forward, but I also need money to keep it up. And so... Fifty to seventy thousand dollars, we could potentially get a half dozen properties under contract, and we could, you know, half million, million, million and a half kinds of properties, and we could try to find a tenant in there that makes the property worth a hundred grand more, or five hundred grand more, or maybe a million dollars more in value, with five, ten, or twenty thousand dollars going into uh, a refundable deposit on the property while we're trying to find a tenant, and. So doing that person by person is one way to do it, uh, deal by deal. Um, I've done that, that works. Uh, but I think the problem with that is some of them work and some of them don't. And the partner that got the one that works, it's like, oh, it's magic and everything's great. The partner that got one or two or three that don't work, um, they get frustrated with me, uh, which I can understand. It ties up their money and we get the money back. It's not about losing the money. I mean, there's always a risk that the money disappears somehow, but um, for the most part, you get the money back. So it's a very low downside risk while still taking large upside shots. And in that structure, I think we can compound capital in a grandiose way. We can do it in a systematic setting if we group the funds together um, with multiple parties and take a portfolio of these properties, market each and every one of them systematically, find tenants for as many of them as we possibly can. The ones that don't meet the bar, they're in the, the ugliest part of town, or I went for too too much, I offer too much money on the building, I just can't get the rent to work. Um, maybe you can renegotiate them, maybe, maybe you say, oops, sorry, it didn't work. And, uh, you know, the price is too high, market won't digest that price. Let's move on to the next one and um, work our way through. I think we can do it in a group effort with this fund I created. Um, there's regulations to it. I can walk you through it. Um, if you call me or get me on the phone or I put a link in the description of this video, it'll take you to a little questionnaire. It's like name, phone number kinds of stuff. I'll reach out to you and talk to you about it. Walk through the regulations, basically asking that if you're accredited, we can go into this fund. If you're not accredited, um, well, first, if you're accredited, that's great. I would love to work with you and pool money together in this fund that I created and go after these projects and do it in a systematic way and just work our way through. Um, I, I, uh, I pulled up a screen. I got Crexy in the background. I like spending time on Crexy. I got the properties like retail properties all across the country, QSR coded kinds of retail properties all across the country sorted from like the ones that are the most visited right now on down and the third most visited one on here is a vacant um white castle in newcastle indiana if you're watching my videos we just made an offer on that <laughs> looking at this screen you guys are following through my video and like popping that thing up to the top or uh, other people are looking at it and making offers and working on it too maybe it's too good of a deal and um you know i'll just get run over and somebody else will buy it up but that happens. But we can try on deal deal after deal, and I think we'll get some of these, and we can go for it. But my point is, there's a number over there that's like 25, 2,500 something properties in the queue right now, and a lot of these are fully cooked. Like these these ones here got big price tags on them that uh, they don't. There's no room to buy it, find a tenant, and sell it for more. They've already got a tenant. They're priced with a tenant. They're fully cooked. But the, these kinds that are empty, going through the markets, finding the ones that are empty or about to be empty, um, is 
I think we can do a large volume in these deals. This is another example. So this is a distribution of steak and shakes. And so if you're watching recent videos, I've been working on a steak and shake and I've been calling a, a, like every single steak and shake location and asking if they want to add on a new, um, a new location to their, you know, their portfolio. Right. And so the ones that have traffic, like down here, like, you know, hardly anybody's visiting them. They're all closed up. They're boarded up. I look them up <laughs> street view. It's like, what, you know, you look, they're for sale or they're just under contract or something's going on. So we can look at the data and target the lower trafficked ones in multiple different names as well and get them that are not on the market. And we can go negotiate on those too. So we can do the ones that are on the market, the ones that are off the market and the population of these assets grows exponentially as we attack it from that fashion. And so I think it could use a good deal of capital to take these on. And then if, if when we find, um, the tenant and we got the deals figured out, then the money is a lot easier to uh, pull off between buying the property, totally closing in on the property when we know what the purchase price is and we know what the tenant is willing to, we know their name, we know their credit rating, we know the terms that they're doing and the timeline and we can look at the markets and get a pretty darn good idea of what we can sell that for and we can sell that in pretty short order. It's a pretty liquid market to sell these triple net assets on the back end. So it's, I don't think it's hard to sell them. It's just about what price can you sell them at. And so the differential of buying them vacant and selling them there can be a nice spread that um, it can pay pieces of the profits. That capital will cost me money to go from point A to point B, but it, that'll be bigger dollar amount, lower cost capital than the uh, deposit, 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 paying for marketing. Uh, paying for title fees, paying for somebody to take pictures and videos and stuff of these properties to make it a lot easier to present them to the, um, the, the potential tenants. So very minimal fees, large upside shots, very low downside risk in that money. Okay, so that's, that's the fund. And I would love to tell you more about the fund. Reach out to me, hit that link below, and we can talk about that as uh, Oh, the big passion of mine. <laughs> I'd love to walk you through that. So if you're not accredited, the next way is uh, DIY, right? Do it yourself. Um, you can watch my videos. You can ask me questions. I mean, you can copy me on these kinds of deals. There's tons of these deals in the marketplace. And every day there's more of them that keep getting listed. And just like I was saying, there's a lot more of them that aren't listed that need help. that are just vacant buildings sitting there. There's a lot of vacant buildings sitting there in the U.S. that should be put it back into production. There's a lot of entrepreneurs that want to have more locations, let's just bridge that gap, let's grease the gears, let's put them together, let's make it happen and get paid for it. So you could copy me, you could do that, and then say, Luke, I uh, I need the money to go from we, you know, we, we, the buy price to the sell price, and I got the tenants, and like, will you help me negotiate the deal? Will you help me put it together? Will you help me fund it? Will you help me pull it off? Like I found one and I tied it up with my own money, and now, I found a tenant and, and, you know, Luke, I need help. Um, give me a call. Let's make it happen. We can make it work for everybody, right? I'll help you. And then, um, so that's, that's one step. That's one way. The next way is, um, if you find one of these, these shops that you really like and, and you know about it and everything, you could tie it up under contract, like we're talking about maybe three, four, five, six months, whatever kind of timeline you think is appropriate. And then you can reach out to me and say, Luke, I don't know how to find a tenant for this thing. How do I find a tenant for this thing? Will you help me get a tenant in here? I'll, I'll look at it. And if it makes sense to me, I'll help you find a tenant for it. Um, we'll work, we can work out a deal and I'll probably charge you some money or some interest in a property or something. Um, some piece of the returns, if it's a good looking deal, um, you know, let me know. I can run the marketing on more of these properties. It, it's uh, I've got it not automated, but pretty close. And I can go through it pretty fast for the right, the right kind of opportunities. I'm, I'm on deck. Let's make it happen. Um, then I'm guessing you probably need the funding to close it and everything too. Let me know I'm here. Let's make it happen. There's a way for us all to work on that, on that. Um, and then a third way I was thinking about if, if you don't, if you're not accredited and you're, you know, if you don't have money to do these kinds of deals at all, 
Maybe you could be studying the ones that I'm working on. I'm gonna try to make vid more videos about the deals I'm working on. And then an example like, like this one here, you say, Luke, I see you're working on a uh, steak and shake. Um, I would really like to uh, help you find a tenant for that steak and shake. How can I help? And I'll say, well, you know, I, I, I could need, I, I, you know, instead of me calling 350 people, um, you got a phone, right? You can start calling them. I could walk you through what to say. And you can't talk terms and stuff, but because uh, you wouldn't be an owner or a, um, you wouldn't have any ownership in the property, but you could have, um, you could have uh, like a referral fee. I could pay you a referral fee if you start working these people and say, hey, there's a shop. You could go into the shop and, you know, you introduce them to me, an introduction kind of referral fee without talking numbers and details and terms and stuff that would get you into the realtor world um, laws, but you could just do the introduction. And then um, I could pay you some agreeable dollar amount or piece of the deal or something for finding a good tenant for one of my properties. I mean, that's a good uh, entrepreneurial way of doing that. I've made those offers in the past. I had multiple people take me up on it and then they go work on it and try to find tenants and they, they send people back to me. Um, and then if, if I can work out a deal with them, I'll pay the fee. I'll pay the, the, the referral fee because I want you to do it again and again and again, right? So those are a couple different ways that we could work on these together. Um, okay, so back to, back to this screen. Thank you, Jason, for writing the email and starting this dialogue. And uh, thanks for your interest in investing in deals. And um, whether it's with me or on your own or lots of different ways of doing it, this is in today's market the way that I would approach fifty to seventy thousand dollars, and uh, with the least downside and the most upside that I think you could take out of it with what I know. I'm sure there's ways to do it in bigger upside shots, but at scale. I think this slice of the the market has a lot more scale, a lot more depth and breadth breadth than than other parts that you might be able to do that in. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith with uh, ruralvacantland.com and also landwithluke.com. That link is in the, the description below. It'll take you back to my website. You can fill out a little form that's basically like call me and let's talk about doing deals. Thanks. See you in the next one.